first ever global aviation gender summit has just started in Cape Town at the International Convention Center. Today, around 500 top aviation representatives are gathered to discuss equality and gender transformation in this industry. South African Airways pilot uh, and a delegation at the summit says access and exposure to the aviation industry for young South African women remains a challenge. For more on the summit, SABC News reporter Vanessa Puna spoke to us earlier. As South Africa gears up to celebrate Women's Day tomorrow and, of course, in the middle of Women's Month, the first ever Global Aviation Gender Summit is kicking off right here in the Mother City. Now, the issue of uh, women empowerment as well as advancing and promoting uh, women in aviation takes centre stage at this conference. Uh, and joining me to speak about uh, the next three days and what will be discussed is the Deputy uh, Transport Minister, Cindy Siwe Jakunga. Minister, uh, good morning to you. We, we have have heard from the Civil Aviation Authority, we've also heard from various women in the industry, um, that transformation is painfully slow uh, in, in, in aviation uh, with regards to women empowerment. Uh, or, or, your, your department minister, what is government doing to address uh, uh, the, the promotion of women in aviation? Gender inequality in the aviation sector histor is historical in South Africa. Um, from the beginning in 2013, out of 13 men that were accepted for training as pilots, only one was a woman who therefore became the first woman pilot in South Africa in 2013. So it has always been like that. And, and, and as government, when we took over in, in, in 1994, we put quite a number of measures in terms of policies, legislation to transform South Africa sectors, different sectors, including aviation and transport sector. This is one sector that is taking long to transform uh, and I think there are many reasons to that, barriers to that, the very fact that it's very few people that know about it, the very fact that even women themselves still regard the sector as for men, whether you speak aviation but even when you talk about maritime it's still regarded as for men. But we have done quite a lot in terms of policy, in terms of uh, aviation uh, transformation strategy that is there approved by cabinet. But going out to people to say they are careers in the aviation sector, we have done that. But I must e e express my sincere excitement about South Africa as South Africa is hosting this. The first in Africa, I want to believe and put South Africa in the lead when it comes to gender issues. And we are excited about that. It is also important for us to have it in South Africa because many of the uh, academies here are owned by private people, by white men for that matter, to be honest. And we are here to say we can't continue like that. And that is why after this we look at the resolutions that will come out of this and look at the declaration and see what we can do. But even as government, we already have appointments with even tertiary institutions. On Monday, I will be going to the University of Pretoria to see what they have and what they can do so that we can continue to transform the industry. We have had meetings with TITA to say we can't continue pumping, pumping money into private academies and get nothing. So we want to see value for money with whatever that we are doing. So there are quite a number of, 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 of activities that we are embarking on that will take us forward in order to transform the industry. But for now, very excited about the summit itself, that we are hosting it. Grateful to have the, 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 the Secretary General of ICAO here with us. This is the highest decision body in the aviation uh, sector in, in the world, ICAO. We have the assembly next year and she will be there. I believe that the reasons why we have the summit is because for once we have a woman secretary general. We have a woman CEO at SACA. And because they are women and they see what is happening there, for instance in South Africa, whether you talk pilots, the, 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 the percentages or the ratios are that you have 90% generally will be men and only 10 or 9% will be women. And it can continue like that. We have got to change this so that there's gender equity, yes. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Transport Minister, talking to us there ahead of the start of this three-day uh, summit, of course, aimed at empowering women uh, in aviation, not just here in South Africa, but globally.